So for today's video, I bought a Savvy Land acrylic starter kit. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Amy Universe here. And I'm really excited to try this kit out. I don't usually use acrylic, um, but I wanted to try the kit out um, honestly because I have a niece who's just starting out in nails. Um, she's 10 years old and I'm so proud of her. She's so talented. I would have never at 10 years old even thought that I wanted to do nails or have any interest in it, but she does. And I've been looking for the best possible acrylic kit to gift her for Christmas. And I've been pretty much just kind of buying and testing things to see what would be the best option for her. And I thought, hey, why not make videos about it? And kind of just put that information out there for people who want to buy acrylic kits or maybe you have a niece that's interested in starting in the nail world um so here i am just taking a look at the back of the packaging at the directions and i'm so excited to get into this video i'm actually really impressed that the kit um includes nail forms it has a small little uh file two cuticle pushers, it comes with three colors, and a nail brush. It also includes a set of instructions that kind of show you step by step the process of how to apply the acrylic onto the nail, and I think that that's very useful. Um, when you're starting off, you don't really have that great of an idea, most people don't, and I think it's uh, great to include instructions like that. Um, for the video, for sake of the video, I'm going to test out the kit like I am a complete newbie to acrylic. I'm going to use the brush that's included. I'm not even going to prep the brush. The brush doesn't come pre-pinched or anything like that, so I'm going to use it straight out of the box. I went ahead and cleared out the glue that holds the bristles together to kind of get it started, and let's see how that turns out. It also comes with monomer and that is actually really good i recently started uh also getting mccart products i signed up for their monthly box and i found that mccart doesn't actually have their own brand of monomer so i like brands that make their own monomer it just makes sense because it's a completed set which means that the adhesion should be good um because it's the monomer and acrylic combo that go together that were meant and made for each other and for the monomer um i actually really really don't like monomer smell it gives me a really bad headache so i uh, recently purchased some monomer drops to add into it so i'm going to pour my monomer and add the drops they are supposed to smell like watermelon i still feel like there isn't much of a watermelon smell but it does help tone down uh that really strong monomer odor uh but of course you can still smell it it still gives me a headache over time but it definitely helps so i'm just gonna go ahead and start swatching the acrylics um i went ahead and mix my monomer and drop solution and here i'm gonna go in with the pink acrylic first So here I'm just going to go ahead and get started with my swatches. I started off with the pink and I'm very surprised to say that the acrylic goes on pretty buttery. Um, it was a very easy and smooth application. Um, the one thing that I do want to say about it though is that the acrylic actually starts to contaminate the monomer which means that once I uh, started to go into my second and third bead, I noticed that the acrylic was really sticking into the brush, and I don't really like that. It makes uh, it makes it so that when you're applying later on, it might harden into the brush and mess up the bristles. As you can see, I'm there kind of trying to pull out the excess acrylic that got stuck into the brush. Um, if you're gonna purchase this kit I definitely recommend probably getting a better brush I feel like the brush that came with it isn't all that great 
of having a brush that's already been pre-seasoned and pinched might actually also help with that but i did use uh for this tan color i went ahead and grabbed one of my own personal brushes and i still felt that some of the acrylic was still sticking to the brush but there was definitely less acrylic uh getting into the monomer at this point i do feel like the colors are really lovely once again the acrylic is really buttery it's very creamy it's just um you have to be very aware that the acrylic does stick to the brush and it does contaminate the monomer as you're using it so you're going to be changing out your monomer, monomer very frequently and you're also going to have to be very aware of your brush and making sure that you're wiping it as much as you can um, see even with my personal brush I still found myself wiping it a lot and I went ahead and laid out everything that came into the box uh, once again the three acrylics a nail file two cuticle pushers the monomer I believe is about one ounce and the nail forms and just to finish the vi video so you can get a complete look at how the acrylic looks I went ahead and applied a tempered top coat um, so we can go ahead and see the shine and how it would look in real life And they're coming out so gorgeous so pretty that clear is actually very clear i don't know if you could notice um as well as i did in person but it is really really clear and i really do like it so would i recommend this product for anyone out there who's interested in buying it yes would i purchase one for my niece as well definitely yes and i would just let her know to just uh be careful and be aware um not to allow the acrylic to harden in her brush and make sure that she's consistently wiping so if you definitely want to try an inexpensive savvy land kit that comes with monomer and everything included definitely try this one out thank you so much for watching bye